All right, TM Nation, today we're going to take a look at the new Tozo Open Real True Wireless earbuds, which are officially out right now. So if you're interested, you can pick a pair up for right around 45 bucks with the 10% off coupon right now. This is going to be a good budget pair of earbuds for people who have trouble keeping earbuds in their ears during workouts because the design is open, meaning they sit on top of your ears rather than going directly into them. Besides the sports design, these feature 16.2 millimeter drivers in each earbud for a dynamic sound stage, up to 14 hours of use on a charge, dual environmental noise canceling mics for that crispy call quality, Bluetooth 5.3, and compatibility with the Tozo app. Inside of the box, you get your user manual and other documentation, a USB Type-C cable to charge the earbuds, and of course you'll get the earbuds as well. The design is straightforward with these as everything is kept together with the flexible band that will go behind your neck. I do like the way that it's made because like I said, it's really flexible and it doesn't stick to my neck when I sweat while using them. And guys, this is not my go-to style of earbud. I typically prefer earbuds that go down into my ears to provide at least a decent level of passive noise canceling if they don't feature active noise canceling. These are open styled earbuds like I said earlier, so they're gonna let in a substantial amount of your environmental noise, which is okay if that's something that you're looking for. I've been able to wear them for several hours at a time without any ear fatigue or discomfort because they sit on top of my ears and they are relatively lightweight. And for exercise, they have stayed in place for me well, no matter if I was just walking around the neighborhood, jumping rope, on the elliptical or jogging. In my experience, the ear hooks keep them planted well, so if earbuds sliding around is an issue for you, these should do good for you in that department. You do also have your playback controls with these, which are gonna be executed by touch or the physical buttons on the right earbud. Both have worked completely fine for me, and you do have the ability to change your tracks with these, adjust the volume, and hang up or pick up calls without touching your device. These are also IPX5 water resistant, which will do just fine in protecting them against splashes of water and sweat. Circling back to the battery life, as I mentioned earlier in the intro, you can get up to 14 hours on a single charge with these, but it's also worth noting that they do feature quick charging that will give you up to two hours worth of use from only 10 minutes worth of charging. And in terms of the Bluetooth connection, I haven't had any issues with any noticeable lag watching YouTube videos or Amazon Prime movies through those apps on my iPhone 14 Pro or my Z Fold 4. Now these aren't going to be the best for a hardcore mobile gamer as they don't have a built-in low latency mode, but I was able to play Call of Duty Mobile without there being too much of an audio visual delay. Taking a look at the Tozo app, the version that you get with these earbuds is extremely trimmed down in terms of features. Inside of it, the only real customization option that you have is to choose Choose from pre-built EQs or create your own and you can see the charge left on the earbuds. Besides those features, it does include a section that has a library of sound effects and audio tracks that you can listen to when you want to relax. Through it, you can also access the user manual on the go and complete firmware updates when applicable, but that's about it. For the sound quality that these provide, I will say that having the app to change the EQs is nice, but that is not going to change the fact that these are open open earbuds and that you are going to lose some of the fidelity in what you're listening to because you're letting in external sounds at the same time. But after I played with the EQ settings a bit, I was able to achieve a sound that I could live with. I set mine to be heavy on the highs and the bass with the mids dialed back just a bit and that's pretty much just how the sound comes through on these earbuds. Now I would not say that it's audiophile grade by any means and I definitely would not expect that type of sound out of this type of earbud but I have been able to watch YouTube videos with them, listen to podcasts, music of course, movies, and YouTube, and they did fine for me in all of those departments. They do also get loud enough for my personal liking, but they can get quite muddy and distorted above 80% of the max volume if you're listening to something with a heavy bass line. On the other hand, I was impressed with the call quality that these provide as they seem to do a really good job of focusing on my speech and rejecting some of the noise going on around me, but I did take samples for you guys just so that you can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right, guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them. 
Now I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will perform in a relatively quiet room. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. I'll go ahead and be quiet for a moment just so you guys have an idea of how loud the background noise is. And I'll go ahead and start talking again. So this part of the test is aimed at seeing how well the microphones on these earbuds can focus on your speech while rejecting some of the noise going on around you. All in all fam, again, these are a budget-friendly pair of exercise earbuds that you don't have to baby around or worry about falling out. No, you aren't getting ANC, transparency, a low latency mode, or a feature-packed companion app, but you are getting good battery life, decent sound quality, and good call quality in a pair of open earbuds for less than 50 bucks, which is not a bad deal. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tecmo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.